Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since I posted on the channel, but today we're going to be doing a uh, review of the Mother's New Lens Headlight Restoration Kit. Uh, I don't know if you can tell here on this headlight on my Subaru Forester or not, but the headlight has a little bit of yellowing to it, a little bit of a glaze to it. So we're going to try and get some of that fogginess off of there if we can and see how good the kit does in the meantime. So this is the kit we're going to be using today, the Mother's New Lens Headlight Renewal Kit. As I said, um, you will need a drill for this kit because it comes with the drill attachment for it, but we'll get into that in a second. As you can see, it works on headlights, tail lights, plastic convertible top windows, bug shields, you name it, this thing can uh, help you out with cleaning it up. Uh, there's the instructions. I'm not gonna read it all out to you here, but I'll show you once we get into the video. And then here's everything it comes with here. So it comes with the quick change polishing tool. So this is like a power ball for mothers here. Um, this will polish up if it's not badly damaged. Of course you got your instructions here you got the plastic polish itself which uh, should have some grit in it to take off some of that fogginess and clear it up a lot here's the drill attachment which will be able to attach the power ball or any of the sanding disc here here is the light sanding disc it's a very fine like sandpaper material and then here's some of the heavier uh, sanding disc here that you can put on there as well. That one's 1500 grit and I believe there's a 2000 or a 3000 grit in there as well. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get started in this uh, headlight restoration. So first I'm going to shake up all of our shake up our plastic restore here and put a few dabs on the ball itself. Oh man, that's coming out. Uh, I should have shaken that up a little bit more there. But we're gonna go ahead and apply that on the lens, get it spread out a little bit. All right, once we get that spread out all over the place, I'm gonna start with a low speed here on my drill and I'm just gonna work it around and try and buff out as much. I also forgot to mention because I already did it, they're gonna wanna tape off around the headlight and for me I lifted the hood up so I didn't have to tape this portion off. Um, but tape around just to protect your paint from uh, any scratches or swirls in it. So let's get started now. So it looks like putting that little bit of water on actually uh, diluted it down a little too much and made it too runny. So I'm going to go ahead and reapply a little bit more of that onto the, a little bit more of the uh, plastic restorer onto the power ball and we'll try this again. All right, so now I applied a little bit more onto the power ball and I'm just blotching it out to spread it out all over the place and we're gonna start working it in at a slow speed. All right, 
let's check and see where we're at now. I'm just gonna take, wet this down just a little bit here. And then take my microfiber cloth, clean up a little bit of the mess and wipe the headlight down. That already looks a lot better. Even with not that many passes, we cleared it up quite a bit. Let me see if I can get you guys in a little closer here. So if you can see this lens, how clear it is now, it used to look like this side over here. You can see the yellowing and everything. And then if you look over here, it could probably be buffed out just slightly more, but that already looks 10 times better. So I'm gonna finish up this light and then we'll move on to the passenger side as well. All right, now that we got that all buffed out here, again, I'm gonna use a damp microfiber cloth here and wipe it down really well. Try and get all that extra stuff off. And another thing is when you're using that drill bit, um, it likes to fling a lot of product in the engine bay here. Just not really anything that's gonna damage anything, but stuff you might want to clean up later. And there's also gonna be stuff down here on your bumper and the surrounding areas. So just make sure and wipe that up when you're done as well. Or if you want, you can do more prep work and lay down some uh, paper there. But overall, I think this stuff did a pretty good job. It's pretty clear there. As you can see the lens here, I buffed it out. I probably could go a few other rounds here and really clean it up. Um, some of that is just water residue drying up from the towel because it's wet, but that's pretty clear compared to what it was prior. As you guys saw, this lens still needs to be done and you can kind of see how milky it is over there. It's kind of hard with the lighting in here, but it's still pretty hazed over on this side. Not as bad as the driver's side was, but now that definitely looks a lot better. So overall, I think the mother's product with this is a pretty good deal. And you get quite a bit of the of the plastic restorer with it here. Um, also, you can reuse that ball and it comes with a few different sandpapers. So if your lens is really bad, you can use the sandpaper a few different times and you can also get more sandpaper if you need to. So that's going to conclude my, my review of the Mother's New Lens Headlight Restorer Kit. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it's been so long between videos. I just got done moving to a different area. So hopefully you guys can stick along with me for some new video and new content coming out.